Welcome to part two of my Azure tutorials. In this tutorial, we will set up our endpoints and then configure our server so that we can connect to it. So first we're back in the management portal from Microsoft Azure system. And now we want to select our virtual machine that we want to configure, pressing that right arrow. And you see here we have our uh, some options, some information, you can read through those if you want, but we're just going to skip ahead to endpoints. Endpoints represent the open ports of our system. In this case, we want to actually change some of these ports. We need to add an endpoint to represent our port for Hero Slayer, so we want to create a standalone endpoint because we don't have any load balancing. We want to give it a name and this can be any name you want to give it. I'm just going to call it. All right, and it turns out that Unity's networking all works off of UDP. So we have to choose to open up our public port and our private port for UDP. We don't care about load balancing and we don't care about an enable direct server return. All right, so now this is going to take a couple of minutes to add the endpoint. You can see here at the bottom, it gives you some status on how that process is going, and we're just going to skip ahead. Once that operation is completed, you should see successful information here about the virtual machine, and hopefully that all went well.